it was necessary for her mistress to comfort her, which she did, I must say, with a good deal of contrition, before she could be got beyond this. She could not find those places, said I. No, cried the girl, shaking her head. No, couldn't find them. And she wasn't so faint and lame and miserable. Oh, so wretched that if you had seen her, Mr. Snagsby, you'd have given her half a crown, I know. Now, you wanted to see Celeste Deadlock, Baronet. Well, you do see him. And mind you, it ain't everyone as is admitted to that honour. Your name, old gentleman, is Smallweed. That's what your name is. I know it well. Well, and you never heard any harm of it, cries Mr. Smallweed in a shrill, loud voice. You don't happen to know why they killed a pig, do you? retorts Mr. Bucket with a steadfast look, but without loss of temper. No! Why, they killed him, says Mr. Bucket, on account of his having so much cheek. Don't you get into that same position because it isn't worthy of you. You ain't in the habit of conversing with a deaf person, are you?